Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developer. So in this video, we'll see about another interview question called like what is SQL loader? In a simple term, SQL loader it is a utility provided by Oracle to load the data from any external files into Oracle database. So this is one more way by which an external data can be loaded. There are a few other ways also like we can use a the uh, dbms uh, util file um, package to to write our custom program to load like that there are many other ways to load so this is one such way by which we can load the external files into oracle database so this is a command line utility like the sql plus command line utility this is also an command line utility so basically this utility will read the information from the external file typically we'll call this file as a data file in sql sql loader terms and this utility will basically read the information from the external file into Oracle database. To read this information, SQL loader need a special file called a control file. So the control file is nothing but this file will have the information about where is the source file that is what is the name of the source file and few metadata information about the source file for example the name of the source file we need to give in this control file how the source file is formatted for example in this example it is a comma separated source file what should be your target table so you'll be specifying all these metadata information in this file so this file is called the control file so sql loader typically reads the control file first then from the control file it reads the necessary information then reads the information from the source file and inserts into the target table specified in the control file so these are the two input files used by the sql loader during the process of loading sql loader generates three output file one is called the first one is called a log file as the name says this is nothing but a log of what is happening for example if there are some hundred records you are loading and if there is any issue happen to any of the record that means whenever a, some particular record is getting inserted in case if it's fail all these informations will be captured here so once you loaded the uh, file using an sql loader or once you completed the sql loader operation the first point to check whether the your load has been successful or not is the log file so this captures all the information your number of load uh, record successfully loaded or if there is any failure or what is the failure all those informations will be available in the log file the next file is called the bad file suppose if due to some issue if there is any particular record not loaded for example in this case there is a record which has like five thousand dollar which we are trying to load it into the salary column so salary column is a number column whereas we are actually giving a varchar data so what happened the insert will actually fail so the failed records will be captured in a file called bad file so this is the bad file so there is one more file an optional file which will get generated is called the discard file see when we are loading we have an option to selectively read the data and load into the thing by specifying some condition like this like when you say when department number equal to 10 that means the record that satisfies this condition only will be loaded into the table any record that is not getting satisfied by this condition will be moved to an another file called the discard file so you need to mention the name of the discard file with the keyword called discard file followed by the name of the file in the control file itself so these are the three output file generated by the sql loader during the sql load operation so basically from an interview point of view if you just say this is an utility that should be fine but sometimes uh, they might be asking you about a bit detailed information like this so you should know the structure of the control file or few keywords in the control file and what are all the basic files associated with this sql loader operation now we'll see a small demo to understand how to execute a sql loader utility and how to load this the first thing you need is the data file so here I've just created a data file called sample underscore data file where I've just uh, given some uh, employee information. So I've just given the name, job information, salary, followed by the department number. So basically it is just a four column and I have four rows here. The next file you need to create is called the control file. So here is the, uh, the control file for that. 
So here the first line says that option skip equal to one. Basically this uh, skip equal to one means we are suggesting to skip the first record because in the data, in the data file, the first record is the header file, which we don't want. We just need only the data. So I just mentioned skip equal to one. So the load file, uh, load data is a keyword followed by in file is a keyword. So the in file says that name of the data file from where the SQL loader has to read the data from followed by discard file is a keyword. So we just need to give the name of the discard file if at all, if there is any record to be discarded. And there is an option called truncate here. If you are not specifying this truncate, then SQL order expects an uh, empty table. Otherwise, if you specify this truncate option, SQL loader will truncate the target table and then reinsert the data. Uh, uh, otherwise, we can specify an append keyword saying that we just want to add the record into this table followed by a when condition. Basically, I just want to filter out few records because I just want to show you the discard file. In case if there is nothing to be discarded, then discard files will not get generated. Followed by, uh, we are saying that this particular file is a comma separated file, followed by the column names where the information has to be inserted. Fine. So this is about the control file and the data file. The next thing, now that we have a control file ready and we have a data file also ready, now we need to create a target table into which we are going to load the data. So now we'll create the target table. So uh, I have the uh, SQL developer session open. So just go and create the target table. Just make sure that the structure of the uh, column, that is the data type of the column, what you're creating matches your data file. Now that I've just created the target table called employee underscore detail. So that is the uh, table name actually we mentioned here. You can see here employee underscore detail in the control file. Fine. Now that we have the so, uh, data file, a control file, and we have created the target table also. Now we can execute the SQL loader command. So just open your command prompt, navigate to the location where you have stored these two files. Just let us check whether the information are there. Yes. Then you say SQL LDR is the SQL LDR is the SQL loader command followed by the connect string. Like in SQL plus, you just need to give a connect string because you need to say to which database you want to connect. Debut set to. Okay, so this is the connect string followed by you say control equal to the control file name. So when you say this, SQL loader will read the information from the control file, then it will read the data file, then it will insert into the target table. Now, if you see, it is actually executing and it is saying two rows successfully loaded. The moment it is completed, here you can see two additional files got generated. One is called the log file. So the log file will clearly say how many files got executed, how many files are not loaded. For example, in this case, two rows got successfully loaded. Two rows are not loaded because we specified a when class saying that only if the department number is 10, we are expecting to load. That's why two rows are not getting loaded. There is another file called the discord file got generated because these are the rows what we excluded. So in our case, uh, it's not actually generating the bad file because it processed successfully. First, let us check the data. Then we'll uh, modify the data to see the uh, bad file. So now I'm querying from the table. As you can see here, now the two record got successfully loaded and two other records are discarded into the discard file. Fine. Now there is no bad file generated because all the data loaded successfully. Now let us just quickly change our sample data file. Let us introduce a dollar symbol here because obviously then this particular record will fail so that we'll be able to see the bad file also. So I'm just saving this file. Let me just reload the SQL loader. Now if you see it has actually loaded. Now if you see only one row got lo loaded successfully, let us query from the table. Now there is only one record. The another record is not loaded because now if you can see there is another file called a bad file is generated which will have the failed record information. Also the log file also will clearly say why the record got failed. If you open the log file, we can clearly say an invalid number. Employee underscore cell because we are trying to insert a thousand with the dollar symbol whereas the target column is actually a number column. So this is all about the SQL loader. And I got few questions in my email uh, regarding this SQL loader. So I just thought I can share with you also. 
uh, see this is just a utility uh, i have seen projects where they have used extensively used this sql loader to load like a test data or even in a production uh, environment they are using this in few cases this sql loader is used as part of the uh, data migration projects like uh, etl projects where a source system will dump into a file sql loader utilities are used to load those source file into some target system so uh, since it is just a utility uh, there is nothing like this has to be used only in a production or a development time uh, or something like that it's nothing like that we can use this as part of uh, i have seen projects in development even in a production and even in a very big projects we have used the sql loader if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos interview questions concept videos sql practical questions Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any comments, you can share, uh, share it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. Thanks a lot.